Hey guys, it is um, January uh, 28th, um, 2018, and this is Kyle, um, here with another video. Um, you know, I went on Google, um, and I was just looking at, trying to look up some some new articles about the Cuban embassy attack. Um, uh, if, if you're a target individual or anybody else, um, you can just go to Google and put in Cuba embassy attack and then put microwaves uh, after that and you can find a whole lot of articles uh, connecting microwaves to um, to the Cuban Cuban embassy attack um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link um, you know in in the comments or in the um, yeah in the in the description section of my YouTube video uh, but I want to go ahead and give it to y'all uh, www.newsweek dot com forward slash mass dash hysteria dash microwave dash weapons dash sonic dash attacks dash cuba dash seven four seven one zero seven um and I will be putting that um you know in the description section of the, of the video uh, I hate to do this, um, but, you know, because I, I don't like to say, okay, well, I'm doing this, I'm doing this particular action, and then my attackers are reacting to it. I try to do that the least I can, um, because it seems to kind of pump up the whole protocol that they have um, for hyper game theory. You know, I, I do, like, I do this, and then my attackers react this way. Um, it's hard to, um, it's hard to ignore though, whenever I'm like looking up things about the Cuban, Cuban embassy attack, especially connected with microwaves, um, or when I was, uh, you know, thinking about doing this video, um, I was massively hit with, uh, headaches, uh, to the temples in the front of, of my head, um, and then a, and a huge, um, just a huge sweeping feeling of nausea to the point of just thinking I'm going to throw up at any second um, with the the high pitch ringing sound um, in my ears. So I, it's hard. I, I don't like to do that, but whenever I, um, you know, whenever I'm putting out information about the Cuban embassy attack, um, I get uh, I get really attacked heavily. It's it's a very marked difference. Um, but I just kind of wanted to throw that in there. I'm just going to go over this article. This is very, very important. Um, so many more, so many experts are coming out, and there are so many uh, articles coming out connecting microwaves, connecting directed energy weapons to uh, what could, you know, what the State Department workers uh, were experiencing. And like you can tell, my hand is shaking right now. I feel just sweeping nausea. Uh, from my directed energy weapon attacks, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Uh, I'm going to try and do a little bit of editorial, but it kind of speaks for itself. Uh, mass hysteria or microwave weapons? What's behind the sonic attacks, in quotation marks, on U.S. diplomats in Cuba? And this is an article from Newsweek uh, by Catherine Hignett um, on December 16, 2017. So I'm going to go down here. Uh, mass hysteria, microwave weapons, and secret sonic attacks sound like plot points in a bad Cold War-themed B-movie, but one of them could be the key to understanding the mysterious illness that has haunted a group of diplomats since February 2016. And that is a picture of the embassy in Cuba from December 12, 2017. Um... Earlier this year, reports emerged of a stealth sonic attack, in quotation marks, on Americans working at the U.S. Embassy in Havana, Cuba. Twenty-four staff members were diagnosed with symptoms including hearing loss, dizziness, and nausea. Some of them blamed their condition on strange noises in their homes and hotel rooms. Investigations by the FBI and other U.S. intelligence agencies were unable to find any physical evidence for secret sonic weaponry. Yet in October, the Associated Press released recordings of the sounds reportedly heard by the embassy staff. 
The noises, however, were reported only by U.S. and not Cuban staff. I'll go down further here. Okay. Um, a group of neurologists recently told The Guardian that mass hysteria could offer a better explanation for the events. The lack of an obvious physical cause and high levels of anxiety reported by embassy staff could account for the symptoms, they argued. These neurologists had not interacted with any affected embassy staff. And I do kind of want to editorialize about the theory of mass hysteria with 24, uh, you know, America, uh, Cuban embassy or uh, State Department workers who had uh, the exact uh, same, um, you know, the exact same damage um, to their brain, to their, their white matter tracks in their brain. Uh, it's completely ridiculous that they would feel the exact, uh, the exact level of stress, the exact same mass hysteria. Mass hysteria is actually uh, propaganda. It is the conspiracy theory uh, to poo-poo any way, any kind of um, you know concrete, uh, you know concrete explanations for what happened. Uh, so, I mean, these, these things that are trying to keep uh, with the mainstream line um, and cover up anything like new challenges or new technology, they're so, they're so thin as to be completely ridiculous. And I think that we all see that, you know, if we just use our common sense and logic. A third possibility emerged Monday when an article published in IEEE Microwave Magazine suggested the strange symptoms could actually be caused by localized microwave radiation. So this IEEE Microwave Magazine. Uh, such weaponry could directly target individuals while remaining inaudible to others. I'm going to go ahead and just read this paragraph over because the wording is, is very, uh, very important. Um, and people who are claiming to be targeted individuals are claiming it's the same uh, effects from the external forces, from the external weapons. A third possibility emerged Monday when an article published in IEEE Microwave Magazine suggested the strange symptoms could actually be caused by localized microwave radiation. Such weaponry could directly target individuals while remaining inaudible to others. So has Cuba developed some kind of secret and deafening microwave gun, or is there actually no weapon at all beyond anxiety, overwork, and, and a vestigial fear of the Red Star? I don't know what the Red Star is. Um, each option has its supporters, but the continued dearth of evidence is making the real cause hard to pin down. Um, so in this picture, uh, weaponized microwave radiation, this is... This NASA antenna picks up microwave radiation signals, among others, at the NASA Kennedy Space Center in Florida. November. This is a picture from November 11, 2015. Um, so let me read further here. And this is this is the expert. Um, a friend had sent me an article. Um, you know about. You know, recently uh, Marco Rubio uh, said that, you know, it could be uh, sonic weapons, it could be microwaves. And then in a UK article, um, it said that another expert said that the damage to the white matter tracks in the State Department workers' uh, brains, uh, you know, could definitely be, be caused by uh, microwaves. And this is, this is one of the experts. Um, in the new study, James Lynn, electrical engineer and professor emeritus at the University of Illinois at Chicago, proposed the idea of a microwave radiation pulse weapon. He thinks that the mysterious sounds and symptoms could have been caused by a single microwave pulse to the head. So that's James Lynn, electrical engineer and professor emeritus at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Um, so he's not just some dummy off the street. This is a professor emeritus at the University of, Chicago, of Illinois. Uh, microwave radiation is usually undetectable to humans, but when delivered at exactly the right frequency, at exactly the right rate for absorption by the human body, and aimed exactly, uh, exactly the right part of the head, a microwave pulse could be heard by an individual target, he wrote. 
As microwave energy moves through the brain, it generates a tiny amount of heat. This almost undetectable rise in temperature can launch an, acu an acoustic wave of pressure that travels inside the head to the inner ear. That's, that's known as microwave hearing. Uh, so launch an acoust acoustic wave of pressure that travels inside the head to the inner ear, Lynn wrote. This pressure could move the tiny hairs that pick up sound vibrations, causing the targeted individual to hear the pulse as they would any other sound. The more intense this pulse, the louder it would ring through the ear, causing discomfort, dizziness, and nausea. The microwave pulse itself might even cause tissue injuries, Lynn writes. So the, the high-pitched ringing sound that a lot of targeted individuals complain about, um, you know, the microwave would heat up the tissue, then launch an acoustic wave of pressure that travels inside the head to the inner ear. And the more intense the pulse, the louder the ringing sound. So, um, and it, it could cause discomfort, dizziness, and nausea. Let's go down further. The theory may have some support. Doctors treating the embassy victims have found evidence of brain abnormalities, the Associated Press reports. U.S. officials have no explanation for them, but suspect they may be a symptom of the attack. Now this picture here, I'm putting my elbow on my leg and just, I'm very, very nauseous. I'm getting a, attacked heavily um, when trying to do articles about uh, the Cuban embassy attack. I felt, like I did a video earlier today and I, I felt bad and tired, but um, not, not this level of attacks. Um, Okay, this is, a, this is a picture. Diffusion tensor magnetic resonance imaging may have been used to examine changes in the brains of U.S. Embassy staff, neurologists state. Um, and I'm looking into, um, you know, I have a psychiatric appointment on the 1st, and I'm going to get my psychiatrist uh, working with my neurologist, and then I'm going to go get, um, you know, testing done to test the white matter tracks of my brain. And I, I think that it's very important for us uh, fellow, fellow, um, you know, I don't really like the name target individuals, but it, it kind of lets people, it's, it's kind of the name that, um, you know, if people that are, are being attacked, uh, by these directed energy weapons helps people to, to, uh, you know, know that what we're talking about, but I would just say empowered, you know, empowered individuals or survivor of, um, survivors of, um, you know, survivors of uh, non-consensual human experimentation. Uh, but we, we really need to focus on, uh, you know, seeing what kind of tests that the State Department workers are getting done, uh, seeing what the results of those tests and the differences in their brain, um, and then we need to connect that uh, for neurologists or doctors that can help us. And that's, that's a, a, a many more piles of evidence for us to add on on this thing that is really happening. Um, let's see, here's the next part. Uh, building a microwave pulse gun, however, is an implausible concept according to Kenneth Foster, New Scientist reports. And, you know, as target individuals and a lot of people who know about directed energy weapons and directed, uh, directed energy weapon systems, it's, uh, you know, this is propaganda. This is somebody who is just a propagandist, because if they are a scientist, then they know about directed energy weapons. Uh, that theory is a real stretch, the bioengineering professor at the University of Pennsylvania says. It would require something like a major airport radar transmitter with the subject's head close to the antenna in its direct beam. I guess it is possible, but not likely. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to read this next part, which is completely implausible, and it's it's really propaganda to block any any kind of um, you know real evidence of what's really going on uh, with the State Department workers. But I want to read it uh, just to show how ridiculous it sounds. Um, you know, just just how ridiculous these kind of mainstream lies uh, sound when when put up with plausible theories that they're kind of trying to hush up or kind of poo poo away. Um, mass hysteria. Others look to the mind rather than the brain as the source of the problem. 
Robert Bartholomew, a medical sociologist and author of Mass Hysteria in Schools, a worldwide history since 1566, believes that mass hysteria remains the best